Awarding is the process of setting grade boundaries or deciding how many marks are needed in order to achieve a given grade, which we do after the exams have been marked. Now, grade boundaries move around year to year. That's normal, because as much as we try to set papers of the same standard every year, inevitably, they end up being a little more or a little less difficult. So grade boundaries will often be slightly higher or lower than the previous year to reflect that and make sure that students aren't disadvantaged. Now, the awarding process involves a committee of senior examiners who look at statistical evidence and also scrutinise a selection of exam scripts to see just how students have actually performed in practice. Now, those awarding committees are guided by the principle of comparable outcomes. And that's the principle that a student should get the same grade this year that they would have got if they'd sat last year's paper. Now that means that, all else being equal, we would expect this year's national outcomes to look similar to last year's. Now, all else being equal is a really important phrase in that sentence. And that's why we use Key Stage 2 data for GCSE awarding or GCSE data for A-level awarding to tweak the statistical predictions to reflect the ability of the cohort. So that means that while we're looking to carry over the standard from last year, if we have, say, a slightly more able cohort than last year, then there will be slightly more top grades available, and we tweak the statistics that the awarded committee use in order to make sure that that's the case. Now, all else being equal also assumes that students' performance is consistent from one year to the next. If there's evidence that performance has significantly improved or worsened from last year, then senior examiners can see that on the scripts they look at and they can take that into account when deciding where to set the grade boundaries.